So the main thing, guys, is when we're doing the Pythagorean theorem, you know, to go ahead and solve for our missing side, let's call this our hypotenuse, right? But we know the hypotenuse is always directly across, okay? So going forward, labeling our, you know, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, we can label this as a leg, and therefore this is our other leg, which we can call b. Again, guys, you don't need to stick with a, b, and c, right? You can label however you like to. Just know that it's leg squared plus leg squared is going to equal your hypotenuse squared. So. 2 squared of 2 squared plus 3 squared equals c squared. Okay, remember 2 squared of 2, guys, is technically going to be 4 times the square root of 4, right? 2 times 2 is 4. Because remember, remember what we did in polynomials? This is 2 squared of 2 times 2 squared of 2, right? So you're doing 2 times 2, which is 4. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is the square root of 4, which is really just 2. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 9 equals c squared. 17 equals c squared, but again, guys, we're not solving for c squared. We're solving for c. So c equals the square root of 17. Now, does anybody know why I didn't do plus or minus this time? We've been doing plus or minus ever since the first day of school. Yes? Yeah, it's, well, it's the hypotenuse. It doesn't make any conceptual sense in this, in this, sec in this like, context of this problem for c to be negative. Would that make sense? Right? For today's lesson, having a negative length of a triangle does not make any sense. It never makes sense for the hypotenuse to be negative. But at least for any side right now, this is just a triangle in space. The side lengths are always going to be positive. So for today, for today, we don't need to worry about doing plus or minus. It's just always going to be positive because that makes sense for today's lesson. Agreed? But once we do like maybe word problems and like direction matters, then you guys can see where that could change. OK? But for right now, that should have been your answer that you guys got. And therefore, with a nice raise of hands, it looks like everybody got it right. right? Or maybe